Did you know that men are terrible? So I just... There's so many, like, cool parts of this episode, like Damien Dark. Which is just, I think, one of the best villains, just because of how much fun he's having with the character. And how charismatic he is. And his daughter, which <coughs> is super badass and just super hot, but mostly badass, plus the hotness. But that means she had to get her from the future then, or something like that, because she was a little girl in season four of Vero. But yeah, this it was not nearly as bad as. It wasn't shoving it down my throat like Flash was on episode 4 or episode 5, whatever episode it was that was Girls Not Out. But it's just, it's just, it's really, it's annoying. So like, the time apparition this time was Helen of Troy. And men get into war because of her, or not, it's not her fault. Men are just, you know, assholes that are just, you know, just want to fuck every single fucking titty that they see, so, you know, they just, they, they start fighting over and killing each other over a girl because we're fucking idiots. If, if you don't know, if you're a dude, you're an idiot. Just remember that. You are a fucking idiot. In the past 100 years, you have not gotten any smarter. You are a fucking idiot. You have never been smart and you never will be smart. You're a fucking idiot. If you think different, you're a fucking idiot. Be, like, one of the lines in the, in, 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 like, they were like, wait, what are we going to do about these guys? And he's like, have men gone any smarter in 100 years or something like that? Like, change that line. Change that line to, have women got any smarter in 100 years? Which is just historically inaccurate since by now they're way smarter than they were back then because they weren't really, you know, allowed to be super smart. And it's like, you know, uh, Albert Einstein's wife, who was super, super, super smart. But, no, just remember you're, you're a fucking idiot if you're, if you're a dude. And then, there was also the mentions about, like, well, I'm happy that, at least I get to know, that in the future, women have equal rights to men. And then she went, well, I wouldn't exactly say that. It's like, fucking shut the fuck up. You already have more than I do. You have a fucking superpower. And you're on a fucking time ship. My life has no meaning. I get to go to school. So then I can go to college. And not become super smart because I'm not that smart and I know it and I don't pretend to be but I'm a complete idiot there is nothing good in me except for the fact that I'm a fucking idiot because all men swoon over the hottest of chicks if I see a hot chick, I'll be like, she's attractive, fuck. I mean, fuck, I'd bang. What's wrong with that? You tell me you don't do the same shit? Fuck you. You see a, you see a good looking guy, you look at his ass, you're like, dude, that's an, hey, you know, girl, that's a fucking nice ass. He's got a nice fucking ass. How is that okay? But when I do it, I'm a fucking pervert. It's okay for you to do it. It's a fucking double standard. Well, fuck you, you fucking... Hypocrite. Hypocrites. It's bullshit. It's just... All these shows are putting an agenda. They tell me how much of a cunt I am. Like, if I'm that much of a fucking dick, might as well just fucking end it now. Might as well just fucking kill myself. Because the show is basically telling me I'm a shithead. That's what it's telling me. I wasn't alive during the 1920s. I've never mistreated a woman. At least none that I dated. If you're a cunt to me, 
I'll be a cunt back. And never to any girl I've ever dated or is friends with have, ever, have I ever treated them less than myself. Now, if you're being a cunt to me, call me name and shit, being a bitch, then yeah, I'm gonna be a bitch back. But I always treat women with the respect they deserve. But no, I'm a cunt, so I should just kill myself. Essentially. It's just, it gets on my nerves. It, it's, it's getting old. I'm sick of hearing it. <laughs> on the Flash episode, the men were retards while the women were getting shit done. This episode, the men were retards while the women were getting shit done. If it was truly equal, couldn't just the men and women be getting stuff done? No. I'm fine with Legends. I still love the show. I'm not going to stop watching. It's just something I noticed and I wanted to address. Or like at the very end, it's like, now you get to be an island where there's no men, so you don't have to worry about that. You can finally have some peace and quiet. But. I don't know. And obviously there has to be some mythical thing behind Helen. Because there's no way people go to war. Like, because they exaggerated it a lot. War takes years. These people were fighting over, like, a couple weeks. It just it doesn't work like that. Whatever. The positives. Vixen learning about her granddaughter, who was in, um, I think she was in the cartoon? The cartoon of Vixen, which is why Ray knew about her already, because, um, if you don't know, if you haven't seen CW Seed, um, both seasons are, like, 30 minutes, so you can get it done in, like, an hour both seasons but it was a it was a sh it was animated shorts on the CW seed it was it was had um flash come over for a little bit Oliver um and Ray came over too in Black Canary back when you know Laurel was still alive but it was it was interesting but yeah I, I I enjoyed seeing that I enjoyed every single Damien Dark scene it was I love Damien so much I I loved um, every scene with um, with the, the whole Freaky Friday. That was funny. Like I said, there's a lot of funny parts this episode. A lot of great parts to it. And, and like it, this, this doesn't ruin the entire episode. Like, because um, they weren't like throwing it in your face. It was just there, and I noticed it. Whereas Flash was shoving it down my throat. This was being more subtle about it, but I noticed it, and it just. It's got to my nerves. So I want to get so pissed off if not, like, every single show I watch did this. And people are like, well, if you don't like the show, don't watch it. I love the show. It's not that I don't like it. It's just dislike that they have to do this to me. Like, I have to hear politics at school because I know my history teacher has an agenda. Everybody has an agenda at school. Muslim plus Jewish alliance, even though the Jewish people have a different mindset than Muslims. But whatever. Their mindsets are actually kind of opposing one another. But, whatever. You know, like, when I sit down and go home, I want to relax and enjoy an interesting story, or in Legend's case, a funny one, with, you know, serious elements. But it has to get bogged down by, you know, the politics behind women and their rights and you know or gun control on arrow last season or you know anything of a sort and I'm just I'm sick of it I don't want to see it keep politics out of it you know like I just I want to enjoy a show and I don't want to be told on a daily basis by different shows that I love to watch that I'm an asshole for being born like I can't control that I was born a dude. But I'm looked down upon for being a dude. Like, you see the reversal? It used to be, a hey, woman, you're my cum dumpster. You give me babies. You feed me. You're worthless to me. Even though most men didn't think like that, but... 
I mean, they have the societal mindset that they needed to be at home, but they never thought of their wives as nothing but baby dumpsters. But whatever. You know, it's just... Now it's... Hey, just like, the whole dynamic almost like sitcoms now is the, the dad's an idiot, the mom's the smartest person alive, and dad gets the kids in shenanigans sometimes and the mom has to fix it we're now delegated to being retarded people that can't do anything like how is how is that any better like how is that okay i don't understand i i, I just i can't fathom why that's okay and the double standard with women but whatever this video is way too long it's like 11, 12 minute, 13 minute video. I need to go to bed. It's late. But that's, um, that's pretty much it. So, if you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up. Sharing up so the time. Don't forget to subscribe. And then just remember you're worthless and you're an idiot. And if you say any different, then you're just retarded. And, uh, I'll see you next time. Still love the show, though. Just... Wish that didn't have to be there. And yeah. I'm excited for the next episode though. Looks interesting. Other than that guys. Peace.